the Philippines, 17 regions and 81 provinces spread across 7,641 islands, each one a home to people, places, and potential. The Philippines, a member of ASEAN, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, and Bimpiaga, the Brunei Darussalam, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, East ASEAN Growth Area. There's definitely more to the Philippines than just the national capital region. Find out more about what the rest of the regions that comprise our archipelago and the regional groupings that our country is part of have to offer to us and to the world on Regional Roundup. Regional Roundup with Bing Kimpo. A closer look at the regions in and around us. A wider perspective of our islands and our part of the world. Welcome back to Regional Roundup. This is our very first episode recorded on the road, and I am truly happy to have done this in Bohol. What we'll be talking about in our next two episodes is tourism in the municipality of Hagna in the province of Bohol. In this episode, we'll feature the move of Hagna to position itself as a faith tourism destination in the island province. Now, this is a rather tall order given that Bohol is dotted all over with a multitude of breathtaking churches dating back centuries past, some of which we'll be featuring separately soon on our other podcast, Undercovered. Now, the plan of Hagda is arguably audacious, but definitely doable. Very soon, the serene skyline of this port town of about 40,000 will be dominated by three separately located 100-foot statues of the Birhen ng Barangay, of San Pedro Kalungsod, and of St. Michael the Archangel. Shrines to the Birhen ng Barangay and San Pedro Kalungsod are already existing, though the images that are present there at this point are not even life-sized. The plan is to install super-sized statues on these shrines. A location for that of St. Michael the Archangel, who is the patron saint of Hagda, has already been identified. These planned icons will soon stand as visible beacons, calling on the faithful to come to Hagda for pilgrimage and prayer. On Regional Roundup this episode and next, we're speaking with Hagda Mayor Joseph Raniola to talk about the plans for tourism in his municipality. My name is Bing Kimpo and this is your Regional Roundup. What's the big idea behind positioning Hagda as a religious capital, faith or pilgrimage tourism capital for Bohol? We are very lucky uh, in Hagna that we have this, first of all, already organized, established two shrines. The shrines of Berin Sabaragay and the shrine of Pedro Kalung- San Pedro Kalungsod and their uh, Luckily also, our uh, St. Michael Parish Church has been uh, designated also as a pilgrim area. So having the three saints that we have in the town, di po pwedeng hindi mo isip na magiging uh, uh, religious or magiging uh, yung aming pagka-religiousity no, na ibalik namin. Now, as I understand, nagkaroon na rin ng mga programa ang national government. So sabi ko, isabay na rin. On a local scene, uh, especially the Buholanos, uh, popular na itong aming uh, sites. Meron na mga regular visitors. But you see, uh, siyempre sa isang bayan o hagna, tribing, na gusto naming uh, tataas naman ang antas, ng kanyang classification because we are the third class no and we we are aware na syempre uh, tourism will really help boost the economy and will also help us with our aspiration na uh, uh, to become a better and a progressive municipality you want to essentially establish what will be 
three icons. Eh, yes. Talagang maaalala natin. Yes, yes. Uh, Na, napuntahan ko yung, yung dalawang sites doon. Mm-hmm. Kung saan ang birheng, uh, birheng ng barangay, mm-hmm. pati yung uh, San Pedro Calungsod. Eh sabi nyo, yun, maliliit lang yun. Magaganda na as they are. Yes, yes. Pero may gagawin ko yung bago. Siguro pakikwento sa amin kung ano yung master plan ninyo dyan. Yun yung uh, from the simple uh, present condition or situation that we have, that you have also seen, uh, dito na lumabas yung dream. Siguro itong mga lugar na to kapag uh, nalagyan natin ng uh, maganda, mataas at uh, talagang malayo pa lang nakikita mo itong mga statue na to, di ba? Eh, makakabigay ng more ng, uh, ng drama and probably more interest and probably more um, experience, di ba? So, just like Rio de Janeiro or... Uh, the popular uh, statues that we have in the Philippines na malalaki talaga, it adds more uh, message. To me, it's like a magic. Magic that will become a reality. Diba? And uh, trying to uh, make us uh, make us again to be aware na wow, uh, meron pala pag-asa hagna. Diba? Wow, pwede palang babalik tayo being religious. I think that's the most important. No, um, Nowadays, with so many things going around, so many modernization happening, diba? uh, one has to go back also to, to the basic, which is being religious in life. Ano naman po ang papel ng simbahan dito, Mayor? Ito ay proyekto ng uh, Catholic, aming, uh, aming diocese, ang aming uh, parish. Ang, ang LGO is just part of it. No? Nung, nung nag-umpisa sila, wala silang roads. We came in with the uh, concreting of roads. No? Wala masyadong uh, cleanliness. So we came in also with the... Uh, Uh, with the warm bodies that we have sa aming, uh, kong, sa aming uh, municipality, tinulungan namin lahat. It is about involvement. This is about faith, di ba? Because we believe, ako personally, I believe, no? We can only set the direction, but it has to be the people who has to make it happen. Mas maganda kung na-embrace ng lahat ng mga hagnaanos yan. Wherever we are, we can always promote and we can always say, as Agnaanons, we, we will able to make it. You're doing things a bit differently dahil most people will say for something as ambitious as this, mm-hmm. ang automatic siguro magandang puntahan will be national government or you know some large institutions. Mm-hmm. Instead, you've decided to go to Hagdaanons who have gone elsewhere. Why are you targeting Hagdaanons to support and help fund initially, I suppose, itong project na to? I am in a situation wherein I realize that politics is divisive. And I'm very sad about this. And I saw this uh, beautiful thing happening, uh, making me realize what we have in Hagna, that two shrines and one pilgrim site, diba? And uh, somehow you also realize that there are goodness to each and every man's heart, no, woman's heart. And I'd like to start there. Uh, even my wife, I was very surprised. Uh, in all of my activities, ayaw niya makialam. Pero nung nalaman niya about this, sabi niya, I want to be a part of this. To my friends, to my co-employees, to the people who have, you know, We are, we're, we come from different uh, political uh, parties, no? But once we sat down, we forget about politics. We simply uh, uh, focus on what we would like to happen and be closer to God. Wow. 
What's the roadmap? What's next? Well, um, with this uh, awareness, no, uh, there uh, there is also a pledging. Kahit sa aming munisipyo, no, among the officials, it was so fast. We were able to generate pledges beyond my imagination. So once na na tap na namin ito mga resources nito, and by the way, the LGU will not will not uh, hold or uh, keep a centavo. This will be given directly to the diocese where we belong. So it will be. Uh, th th this will be under the safekeeping of the uh, church leaders. The uh, preparations are uh, already intact. We have uh, surveyed the uh, area. Pati ang structural uh, consideration, aming ano, plus the design, no? The design and uh, how we should develop the area. So, completo na kami yan being, and uh, this is really a matter now of tapping the Uh, amount of funds that we need to construct and we are just there to support them as as long as they're on now once completo na rin yan uh, being um, the we have also organized all the all the uh, organizations no meron tayong paris organization paris council meron tayong uh, san miguel uh, council meron din tayong san kalungsod group and uh, A restoration group no They, these are all existing uh, um, organization in 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 Hagna mm -hmm. and right now ang ginawa natin talaga to focus on this meron din silang ginawa at inorganize ngayon ng Hagna Tourism Council uh, Hagna Faith Tourism Council who will now manage everything so uh, e e uh, eventually pag natapos yan even the uh, Even the operation, we will have to teach them. We will have to support them that they can manage this and maintain, and uh, hopefully uh, go beyond the, the means, de ba? Na makita natin na magsaksin sila at magiging prospero sila. Ang therefore ang role ng LGO is to ensure na mag, mayroon sila starting point at alalaya namin sila pag organize hanggang mabuo nila itong uh, ating uh, dream and then make them also be responsible and they have to manage it among themselves also so that after all ang uh, ang makikita natin uh, pag nag-progress yan mas dumadami ang mga visitors through faith tourism uh, more business will uh, thrive no uh, yung mga aming sigurong restaurants hotels ang aming mga um tawag nito mga souvenir uh, items and so forth no marami nang maglalabasan uh, na ano more uh, employment di ba so in other words it will help the community uh, talagang progress not only uh, economically but i think mas gusto ko makita na babalik ang hagna progress niya with he, with his uh, talagang pureness going back to where we should be being religious in terms of timeline when can people expect uh, these could iconic be, statues could up? be 365 days one year timeline natin yes yes wow uh, meron ka na makikita this entire stretch of of seaside of coast na bohol on on your on your heading to your part of heading to hagda it seems to be dotted with all of these mga old churches mm -hmm. you're trying to position hagda as a religious capital as a pilgrimage capital tell us a bit about what's to offer for a person who is interested in that ano pang pwedeng napuntahan bukod sa hagda yung okay. malapit lang uh If you are in a big city, Holy Week, right? Mm -hmm. Nagahanap ka ng 14 churches mm -hmm. para sa 14 station of the Cosmo. 
From Tagbilaran, going to my town and others, we have 47 municipalities. Remember. So it will not be so difficult to find good churches along the way. 14 towns, you have your talagang iglesia visita na talagang fulfilling at sigurado mas uh, exciting no? at saka talagang uh, nakakapagbigay sa atin again ng kind of faith na kailangan nating na feel from time to time para hindi tayo nawawala kung ano mang meron tayo sa mundo na hindi tama <laughs> And that was our first of two episodes on tourism in Hagda Bohol here on Regional Roundup. As I said at the beginning, it's a rather tall order for Hagda to position itself as a faith tourism destination when the entire Bohol is bathed in the beauty of its centuries-old churches and cathedrals. And precisely perhaps because it is a tall order, one way to literally stand out is to install tall statues as well, 100-foot ones we are told. And as a port town that welcomes and sends off travelers bound for and coming from Mindanao, including the island of Comigin, Hagna does have a bit of an advantage. With the installation of the iconic statues of the Birhen ng Barangay, of San Pedro Calungsod, and of St. Michael the Archangel, Hagna could just be that visible beacon calling on the faithful to pilgrimage and prayer. This has been Bing Kimpo. Join us again on Regional Roundup next episode as we continue our conversation with Hagna Mayor Joseph Raniola. We'll be talking about adventure tourism in Hagna in that episode. Catch you again on Regional Roundup. Available on Facebook and on YouTube and on Spotify, Apple, Google, Substack and wherever else you get your podcasts.